All right, guys, we have the Ting Luis Blood Moon Ursaluna Luna deck with some other stuff, and we also have a pretty horrible start, but maybe it will improve. This deck does have a lot of comeback potential. We see the Reshiram V, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what it does. We're gonna check it out. I don't think it has a VMAX or a V-Star. Basically, it can't attack next turn, and it can search for two energies and attach them to one Pokemon. So it is an acceleration tool. But other than that, I do not know what our opponent's going for. Of course, this should buy us some time. We need a better supporter, so we're going to go ahead and drop the Ultra Ball and kind of hate dropping a boss. We do have, or no, we don't have Pal Pad. So if we drop a boss, that's it. Uh, Han Hassel. I always say Hansel because he looks like Hansel from Zoolander. I'm just going to call him Hansel. Nobody, nobody cares. Uh, he's so hot right now. Uh... It's another card about getting knocked out and doing good stuff. Uh, we do run three of them, so we're gonna drop one though, and eventual punch. We do run a bunch of eventual punches as well. And as much as I'd like to grab the Ting Lupus, he doesn't really have any bench Pokemon, so there's no point. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that Tatsu Giri. Hopefully get an Arvin or an Ionu off of this switch and into the attracting customers. It smells so good in here, and of course, we have the worst luck in the world. We don't get anything, so we will go ahead and pass our turn and be completely stuck. This really sucks. If the team Tinglu, if the Tatsugiri goes down, we can draw three with the Fezendipides. Flip the script ability, draw three cards, but we did also just drop the Hansel. He's so hot right now, which would have been great, but I just did not want to lose the boss's orders. So we'll just have to see. I have a feeling though, other than that tonight's gonna be a good night, I also have a feeling Yep, there it is. That Tatsugiri is going to survive, so we'll have another crack at it. Um, I also forgot to attach Vengeful Punch, so my bad on that. We're going to do that this turn. We do get the Arvin. Let's go ahead and search anyway, attract those customers. Do we get any? Another boss. This is ridiculous. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to go Arvichimo into... Ooh, this is interesting. I think we should actually grab this, because that Tatsugiri is going down for sure. And if we got to grab... an I guess eventual punch. We already have one. Let's go with the rescue board, attach it to the Fezendipity so it does have the free retreat. And that dang old turn as soon as we attach this and attach this and the eventual punch. I swear to God, guys, this is a Blood Moon Ursaluna deck. The point of the eventual punch is to get damage counters on the active Pokemon. We move them around with the Radiant Alakazam, spread them with the Ting Luis. The point being, Blood Moon Ursaluna does 100 plus 30 for each damage counter on our opponent's Pokemon. That's the idea. But of course, we haven't seen any of them. We haven't even seen an energy card, so I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully, we can get it set up. Um, I probably won't show this match in on the... Ch Rah. Which one are you going to get rid of? I kind of hope he gets rid of... Actually, I don't really care. I kind of hope he gets rid of the, the board. Well, he drops the other. He could have gotten both. You could have had it all, buddy. You could have had it all. He gets rid of the Vengeful Punch. Interesting. Well, the Fessendipity will still work. We will just lose the Tatsugiri damage situation. But that's fine. We will unfair stamp them next turn. If they don't get any Pokemon on the bench and they don't, they go with the White Blaze. So... They will not be able to attack next turn either, right? If they get tails, they can't attack. Alrighty then, let's put the Pheasant Dippity in to the active and right up, right? Oh, dude, what a card to draw. Okay, unfair stamp. Give me something good. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Stop. Wow. Okay. If we had Vengeful Punch, we actually would have donked them. That's pretty crazy. Um, Instead, we're going to go... He can't attack next turn, so we could nest ball though. I don't really want to play this. Let's letter of encouragement. Just double check, and we just grab three. We don't have to discard. I always think discard because of the uh, the earthen vessel. You have to discard, but you don't have to discard for that. So let's go ahead and put this bad blob down. One, two, and then th actually hold on before we do that. Maybe okay. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh, we did prize the Alakazam, so that totally sucks. Um, all right, so the Ting Lupus will be going down. And let's Fezendipity flip the script, draw three. Okay, Arvin, we can grab this. Okay, now things are looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and grab Eventual Punch for the Ting Lu. And we would like to get another bear down. We do have an Artisan. 
Uh, let's actually get the heavy ball. Get out of here. Let's get the heavy ball to grab the Alakazam. So, uh, do we have a switch? I think we have a switch card in hand. We do. Okay, great. So, done dozo. Okay, finally. It's a Blood Moon Ursaluna deck. He has two count them. This is going to be a short video if, <laughs> if I pull this off. But, I mean, that's the deck. Usually, the deck actually runs pretty long because you want to kind of set up your board but i mean we unfair stamped early and you know that's just how the game goes sometimes i'm not going to drop the artisan now here's the thing let me just talk some more ground crasher does 30 damage to each bench pokemon if there's a stadium in play and we discard it uh but i don't want to put the artisan down because i do want to donk so uh let's go ahead and put that fighting energy down there Heavy Ball for the Zam, just in case they do have a Pokemon. Uh, we all know Iono's ally. Unfair Stamp is also all I. He has a Professor's Research in his hand right there. Drop in the Alakazam. Drop in Dimes like the Vengeful Punch right there. Free Retreat because of the Rescue Board. Into the Ting Luis. Ting Lawrence of Arabia. Ground Crusher. It cannot attack. And then next turn, so right now it's at 190. And we will be doing 190 next turn with this guy right here. Of course, heavy retreat cost. He's got three. Drops the Rotom. We'll save him for a turn. But, and the Charmander. Okay, so it's a Zard deck and the Arceus. Okay, the Rotom keeps him around. We can drop the Artisan. I just realized dropping the Artisan wouldn't have actually hurt him because we discard the, uh, we discard the, stadium so but it's actually better used here he can't attack he goes instant charge that's fine we're actually going to artisan for uh probably another ting lupus to be honest let's go artisan this is perfect we could get the knockout on the restaurant but i kind of want to get the spread going because i want to show off the deck uh i don't know if that's the right move in terms of winning i think we're gonna win regardless uh so we're gonna do what we gotta do. Um, mm, taking the knockout would be pretty nice, so I gotta not gonna lie. But if he's lucky enough to get that Charizard going, that would be super cringe. So we're gonna try to spread the damage and the love as much as we can. Painful spoons never lose. Doesn't rhyme, but it's time. Just in case that's coming out, no, it's not. We're putting 30 on it. We're putting 30 on everyone. And then we can Alakazam 20 away onto the Charizard if, or Charmander rather, if they can't evolve it and probably just switch into the Ursaluna, take out the Charmander and the Reshiram. And then uh, have we, but we have weakness on the Arceus and the Rotom. So we're not in the worst spot. And if anyone gets knocked out, we still have Pheasantipity's ability to draw some cards, White Blaze. All right, buddy, that's fine. You're getting knocked out either way, so that tails doesn't really matter. Um, the 40 honestly doesn't really matter either. We're, we're going to move it from you anyway. Um, if we get a boss's orders, we would take out the Arceus probably. Well, I don't know. The Arceus does need a DTE. We'll see. That rhymes all the time. I don't know why. Hansel is so hot right now. Look at the top eight of the deck. Put three of them into our hand, and that's just what we'll do. But I think the first thing... I think we want to look at more cards. I like to flip the script first, so we're going to do that. Got another bear. I almost said bird, but it is a bear. I don't think we need anything else, so hopefully hopefully we get some energy Gs. Let's go ahead. Look at that top eight. It's another bear. Uh, here's an energy G. There's an energy G. And let's see. Now, we could rock sand them after their next KO. They have four prizes, so that seems pretty busted right there. Uh, we are attacking with the bear right now, so let's go with that. Dundozo. Yeah, just in case they get the Arceus, we can we can kind of reset things right there. So we're going to go ahead, painful spoons onto that little salamander right there. Is he a salamander? I don't know. Let's find out. He's a lizard. Whatever, dude. He's got Mander in his name. Mandark. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Taking one prize, laughing in my opponent's face. We are a disgrace. We got the counter catcher. And uh, wow, buddy. Okay, we're going to make this even tougher. We are losing. So that was actually clutch as hell, my friend. But first, we got some more business to take care of. Dropping the nest ball. Don't need it anymore. Gonna. Oh, okay. Well, we only got two. We still have 
two super rods, but that's kind of whack that we don't have enough energies. But they don't know that about us. They don't know that. We run nine. One, two, three. Okay, so this is six, seven. So mm, I'm not sure. Maybe we should just take the Reshiram out. Let's go ahead and put these two energies here. Battle hardened. Boom. Boom. Kind of scared now. Maybe we shouldn't take the Arceus out, but then he can just grab whatever he wants. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're definitely taking it out. So I think we got to do the do, right? I mean, we have Roxanne either way. So let's counter catch. It's kind of scary. Let's go ahead and counter catch the Arceus and do 380. I just don't want him grabbing anything he can. Of course, he's going to get a knockout next turn anyway. So actually that tails, well, I guess that tails didn't matter because we counter caught. We just need one in energy. Ugh, two rock sands. Okay, so we have super rod. More importantly, though, we do have superior energy retrieval. Um, we have four Arbins. If we could top deck one, I don't know how many we've played. Speak of the devil, we played two, so we only got two left. Uh, we also have one more Hansel because he's so hot right now. Do not run any energy switches. Ah, oh, man, this really is rough. We got two energies sitting right there in the prize cards. That's got to be it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we, we definitely do. Energy retrieval. Just throwing it right in my face, aren't you, pal? What if he doesn't attack? He's totally going to. But I'm just saying he could rotate him. Um, wow, that's rough stuff. Wow. Well, 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 you never know what we'll grab. So he did put an energy on the rotom. That's kind of strange. Okay, Charizard, still scary, still scary. Definitely scary. Scary Terry for sure. We're also dropping, drawing three with the Pheasantipity. So it, like, we're gonna see a lot of stuff. Flips the heads, he will be able to attack next turn. All right, let's uh, let's hope for the best here. 20 cards, two of them are Arvins, and that's just life. I mean, we could get a Tatsugiri. Let's put this, this has free retreat. We can nest ball for a Tatsugiri if we need. Oh, or we could just draw it. Okay, we're gonna put it here. Let's go ahead and heavy ball to just double check what we got. Yep, two, count them, two fighting energies right there. You hate to see it. Um, four cards in hand for our opponent. Uh, we will be putting painful spoons onto this little guy right here, just in case he gets the Zard going. Um, I don't think it would hurt to put this on the Tatsugiri. I mean, it's gonna get knocked. Well, it might not even be used. Let's go ahead and ro Roseanne first. We're gonna drop this here and turn on the red light, dropping him to three, me to six. We still have another one in deck two. We do get the super rod and the letter of encouragement. This is encouraging. Okay, we're gonna go super rod and Todd and go one, we have three bears. How many are in deck? Get out of here, oh my gosh. We have one bear in deck. Okay, so we're good. We're just gonna grab all energies and our GGs. Um, Done. Okay. Let's letter of encouragement. One, two, three. And we're just going to take this Reshiram out now because there's no freaking way that they have a Charizard EX set up. That would be crazy nutso. Let's go ahead and retreat and put this. I actually haven't flipped the script yet, so we're going to do that too. A lot of comeback potential with this deck. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop another Ursaluna while we're at it and put these two fist bumps right here, punching you right in the face. One energy here, we're good with that. Taking them out, 280, enough to party, enough to take two prizes, enough not to be scared. We got security. Don't call security on me, that would be really uncool, but we're gonna take two prizes. Do get the other energy, so there's one more waiting in the wings, and we're hoping they don't have wings in the form of Charizard EX. If they do, They'll have two damage counters. They work her. Okay. Possible. Possible. It's going to be 330, right? So we're going to have to take a two hitter on that one. Um, either that... Well, we have boss's orders. Look at your hand, Pat. Look at your hand. Read the cards. It's very important. So actually, we have game because we will just boss's orders the Rotom V. Unless they have an unfair stamp as their A spec, which is entirely possible. But they go instant charge and I'm gonna be a jerk and do more damage. Let's go ahead and Painful Spoons onto the Rotom. Hopefully they don't scoop. It's only cool to waste time if you're doing more damage 
We're doing 380. We're calling our shot. Kobe, 410. Close enough. Grab that last prize card. You know what it is. G. Jeez.